Hey, what's going on there, guys? It is the Earthmaster on this beautiful Sunday, June 12th, 2022 date, uh, about 7.04 p.m. California time. Seeing a little bit of activity ramping up there on the Aaliyah Permanent Station in Hawaii. Also, a couple earthquakes coming in there on the Seismograph Station there on the bottom left in the Barrett area that's down in Southern California. A couple small microquakes there. Uh, latest quake, though, on the globe shows a 1.8 earthquake around Puerto Rico right now the latest quake on the map let's go ahead and check out uh, the flat scale model here nothing above 4.0 or above 2.5 within the last hour uh, we did see quite a bit of movement continuing here around the coast of the southern part of the middle America trench just offshore of Nicaragua and also El Salvador area uh, also some activity around the Panama region Costa Rica uh, border seeing a little bit of activity ramping up here um, earlier this afternoon time frame uh, also Puerto Rico as you've seen there on the globe showing quite a bit of swarming continuing here within this area most of it has been confined here uh, across the southwestern portion of Puerto Rico looking at about 27 earthquakes so far today uh, most of them appear to be uh, in the two and three there's quite a few in the two and three range uh, and also quite a bit there in the microquake range. So a split, if you will, between those two magnitudes there. So still continuing uh, to uh, uptick there around the Puerto Rico area. Got to watch that pretty closely, no doubt. Uh, some movement off the or, uh, inland around the Ecuador area. Looking at a pair of fours. Uh, the majority of this was from earlier uh, this morning, it looks like. We haven't seen any further activity up there in that region of the country. Uh, let's see here, 4.6 in Argentina. This one was this afternoon time frame. Uh, looks like that's pretty deep though, uh, 208 kilometers down into the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, again, that one was from earlier this afternoon. This earthquake down here in the South Sandwich Islands from uh, late last night, early time frame, there was a 5.0. Uh, far as activity in the Atlantic, uh, let's see here, kind of looks like let me see what we got. We did have a couple more earthquakes out here in the Ascension Island area. Uh, at least one this afternoon, a 4.8. It's in this little mix of uh, earthquake activity that's been, well, it's been kind of swarming here over the last couple days. Looking at about 10 earthquakes or, or so just to the east of the uh, Georgetown area. Uh, again, the Ascension Islands area. Got their fracture zones all throughout here. Um, and they do get some fives and sixes, but right now, I think five and fours are the magic number out there. Uh, other than that, the, the earthquakes aren't super big when it comes to the mid-Atlantic ridge due to the fault system out there, the plate boundary uh, that exists out there under the ocean. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, let's go ahead and cover the west here, the United States. We did see some activity down here into the Gulf of California, 4.2 off the coast of la riviera mexico uh, 10 kilometers for that 4.2 out here along the plate boundary um, stretching up here into the baja california region did see a couple earthquakes here off the imperial fault system that's going to be this uh, plate boundary right here looks like a 2.7 and a 3.1 uh, kicking off there on that fault system earlier this morning we've seen some activity around the salton city area uh, the, near the Salton Sea, western side here of it, uh, but since then it kind of died off a little bit. We haven't seen any further movement. The latest quake here, a 0.7 near the ends of California area, 16 kilometer deep earthquake there for that little microquake. Uh, aside from that, looking up north here, there's not a whole lot going on through the Ridgecrest area uh, or the eastern section of the Sierra Nevada. Things kind of tapering off. Look at Nevada, absolutely quiet. Not a whole lot going on out there. Uh, yeah, kind of crazy. <laughs> One earthquake out here in the Mount or uh, Shasta Lake area, 1.6, well south of Mount Shasta. Nothing going on going on around the Lassen area. Mount Lassen looks pretty quiet there for now. Pacific Northwest, we got one earthquake out here south of Seattle, showing up here on the map near. Uh, whoa, should I pronounce it? Bashan, is that right? It's got to be right. That's the only way I would pronounce it. 1.1 uh, at 23 kilometers. Um, I'm not for sure which fault system this struck on. It looks like it might be just off the Tacoma fault zone. 
again south of Seattle, north of Tacoma. Uh, little activity kicking up there. Just a very small microquake. Uh, up here in Alaska, not a whole lot going on. Yes, there is microquakes, but that's a given on any single day. One earthquake here around Japan. That was late last night, early this morning time frame. There was a 5.1 into the uh, Japan Trench at 49 kilometers. But since then, this area has remained awfully quiet. Uh, the big picture, I think, right now, we've seen a little push of activity here along this Java Trench northward. Uh, seen a swarm of activity here around the Middle East with uh, quite a few earthquakes here in eastern Afghanistan. Um, mostly in the four range uh, for now, but they do get some big earthquakes. Uh, the Java Trench area, let's go ahead and cover that real quick. Seen a Oh, about three earthquakes or so. One of them, check this one out, 4.8, 562 kilometers. That's this afternoon that kicked off there, 4.8. That's very, very deep. Um, and then when you get into this deeper area, you got to remember a lot of trenches here within this area. you got the Java Trench, of course. This one here, oh, goodness. Yeah, it can create some major mega quakes. And, uh, well, I'd say it's been a while. It's definitely been building up quite a bit of activity since the, uh, when was it, 2004? The uh, Sumatra earthquake. I think that's when it was. It seems like it was just yesterday, but a lot of time has actually passed then. And there's a pretty high slip rate here in this region for uh, accumulated stress in a short amount of time. Uh, Papua New Guinea area seeing a little earthquake activity, 4.5. That one late last night. Uh, let's see what else we got. New Zealand area. We forgot those guys. Can't forget them. Uh, let's go over here. The Loyalty Islands at 4.6. Nothing showing up here on the USGS map. So for that, we're going to go over here to the uh, EMSC model real quick. Stand by for just a second while it loads up. And take a look and see what we got going on. We got at least a 1 4.7 here. Uh, showing up in the region. EMS or uh, yeah, USGS not picking up on it it's a weekend i get it but man don't they have some nice computer systems there in the offices that monitor and put out preliminary earthquake data uh 4.7 looks like earlier this afternoon time frame and it uh, looks like a 3.1 around the north island area if we zoom in we could probably pick up a little bit well see here if i can pick up anything else not a whole lot just that 3.1 so uh Activity there has died down, except for that uh, earthquake that you see in the four-pointer up here. Um, so we're watching this area still. It's still kind of on my uh, on my mind for uh, for some possible movement for sure. Uh, it's like the only area that really hasn't seen any sufficient adjustment. This area right here, and this area north of the Japan Trench, we've seen some activity here. Oh, when was it? Last month? Month before? Uh, some sixes up here in this region. But the Kuril Kamachaka Trench up here, this one, this little section of the trench has not shown any sufficient uh, adjustment here in quite a while. So we'll be watching those two little regions. Hawaii, big island, uh, we got 17 earthquakes or so kicking off around Pahala, northeast of Pahala it looks like, uh, down there around 30 kilometers or so. Very typical ongoing soar, uh, swarm sequence since the 1960s or Probably even before that, uh, just a little, uh, who, who knows what's really going on. I can't remember exactly the whole article that they put out on this ongoing swarm. Uh, but it uh, could have something to do with magma, they think. And then they think it could have something to do with the subduction area way down here. I think they mentioned something about that. But uh, yeah, we're not going to cover that tonight. But I, I, I did in the past couple videos. Uh, if, if you're kind of curious about it, uh, type in to uh, Google search uh, Pahala Hawaii swarm or ongoing swarm and that will give you quite a bit of info uh, and background info on that uh, on that ongoing swarm that's yeah, it's been going on for quite a while hasn't it okay let's uh, let's see we're bouncing around what kind of what do we do we did kind of like this zigzag fashion around here zip, 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 zip. I know a lot of people don't like that but uh, you know what? It, uh, it is what it is. We like we like to keep it interesting. Instead of going in the same circle, let's start over here, guys. Okay, looking up here. Let's go over here now. Now we'll go down here. We'll go down here. Every single night, you get boring, right? So it's good to make that zigzag pattern and keep things um, crazy. I like crazy. 
All right, let's see. Uh, eastern part, uh, or at least east of the Rockies, not a whole lot going on. I do want to cover Yellowstone real quick because that is popping up here um, on people's minds. Looks like the ongoing swarm continues. I can still, I still cannot access the data, the live seismographs for the uh, live stream. I'm going to try again. I may have to shut down that program, uh, my uh, live seismograph viewer, and then restart it so I can connect to the uh, PV stations, which are the plate boundary stations here uh, around the Yellowstone area. And um, definitely a lot of activity, right? Wouldn't you say so? Oh, well, over the last couple hours or so, just, you know, a few earthquakes there. Afternoon time frame, morning time frame, overnight. There are definitely twos. This one right here, I think, is a, uh, a pretty good size one, probably a mid-two at least. Um, I did not see anything uh, pop up. Let me see here if these guys are going to show anything. Let's go from June to ju 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 June 10th, right? I don't know if they're even going to show it here. I normally don't use this setup. Um, and these may be only showing the earthquakes that are uh, listed on the USGS station here. So, eh, I don't, I don't really like this. It shows a couple earthquakes on there. But then again, if you go back here to the USGS and you check out their uh, seven days map, there, there's definitely some earthquake activity out here. But we're not, we're not concerned about this activity it happened... Um, two days ago, almost three days ago now, we're, we're concerned about the activity that's been ongoing here today, right, obviously, and the activity yesterday uh, that's been kicking up here around the northwest corner of the park. There's, uh, I'm telling you, there's hundreds of them over the past three or four days. So uh, they'll probably get, they'll probably come in Monday morning at the USGS office and say, man, we guys, we got a, got a busy day today. But, uh, Oh, the gentleman that uh, wrote me back here, I kind of had a question about the eastern part of the uh, uh, swarms. Eastern part of the uh, Yellowstone National Park that had a couple oddball earthquake activity uh, last month or so. And he wrote me back pretty quickly, kind of explained what was going on and uh, whatnot. But uh, that gentleman, super nice, super awesome. Maybe one day I'll meet him. Who knows? But, uh, you know, I can't really super bash the usgs yes they don't report a lot of stuff um and i don't know why but I, is it on him probably not um it could be on somebody else there's more than one person working for the usgs let me tell you so we can't uh we can't uh bash the usgs as a whole uh, over a couple people um you know maybe not reporting some quakes there they might just have some preliminary data systems that are different in certain areas like mount chas or uh uh, Mount St. Helens, for example, we've seen an ongoing swarm there. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick here. But uh, we'll definitely get back to this. We'll see what the USGS states tomorrow once they overlook the data and decide on where the uh, location is, the depth of the earthquake, the magnitude. There's a lot more to it than just looking at graphs. Uh, you know, I can, I can kind of look at them, kind of judge a little bit because I've been looking at these for a very, very long time. Um, but to get a definite 100% magnitude depth and location it takes a little bit of looking around more than just at this graph here so uh let's see okay so trimmer map tonight let's go ahead and check this out zip 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 zero zero epicenters tonight along the cascadia subduction zone we got a little pause going on here so let's go ahead and check out the mount st helens volcanic seismicity seismogram station here around the summit area this kind of station i like to observe here and but look how fast that loaded maybe maybe their stations are working good tonight uh last couple minutes or so a little spiky activity it looks like uh nothing big these are very 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 small microquakes folks these are not anything to uh really write home about let me check out this afternoon time frame and uh this morning see what we got a couple earthquakes right but uh, not as active as what we've seen weeks prior. So things like uh, things things appear like they're kind of calming down a little bit. So, but either way, we like to check it. We like to see what's going on here, and uh, for sure, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Mount Mount uh, Lassen here got a man. They got a flash flood watch up there earlier. 
quite a few thunderstorms rolled up through here. I was going to go up there, but I decided, you know what? Uh, it's a long ways up there, up from Chico. So I decided not to with the gas prices and whatnot here. Almost seven bucks a gallon. Um, let's go ahead and check out the seismic stations here. And then these could have, see this here, I firmly believe has to do with weather right here. We know these storms rolled through here. Uh, the early afternoon, late afternoon time frame. I think there's still some wind events going on up there right now. I had a flash flood watch go through uh, the area of the Dixie Fire. Dixie Fire, which I covered last year around the uh, the Chester area. It was a big major fire. It burned down a whole town. Or Not good. But, uh, yeah, these, these events that we see on here, definitely storms. Uh, there was quite a few lightning uh, events up there. Hopefully there's no new fires. Uh, man, that's all we need. Uh, and some heavy downpours. Luckily, we had a lot of rain with this event uh, kicking up there around Mount Lassen. But uh, a couple highways are actually closed, too. Hi uh, State Highway 70 and 32. Uh, uh, is it 32 or 36 going up there? I can't remember. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a couple of those are uh, marked down. So closed down for now due to mudslide potential. I want to show you guys real quick. I want to bounce over here before this disappears on the seismograph there on the Hawaii station. Kind of kicking up a nice little earthquake right there. Up there around the two range, it looks like possibly. Uh, it's been pretty active there uh, in the Pahala uh, Big Island, Hawaii recently. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's check out solar weather activity. I'm getting excited about the sunspot that's coming around the bend. And uh, looks like a new friend of mine, 3032 and 3033, are coming, ar coming up around the bend. Look at 3033. When this thing rotates into view, it's going to be directly facing us. Now, I know a lot of times these solar sunspots exist uh, north and south of the, you know, the equator, the, uh, the center of the disk here, the equator of the sun. But this one here kind of looks like it's right smack dab, going to be right in the middle. So that will be interesting to see. But 3030 is kind of bouncing pretty good with um, some potential flaring. Uh, the solar flare detection chart and x-rays are kind of popping a little bit like popcorn. Uh, getting back into the C class um, category in the solar flare department. And that could uh, raise up the potential of seeing an M flare here pretty soon. Um, and, and these new developing sunspots here are, are uh, definitely worth watching pretty closely. Uh, this one here is huge and ginormous. It's gigantic. A couple different ones. But uh, the polarity mixing here looks potential. Looks like it has a little potential, but this thing is growing rapidly. And so is this one back um, on the eastern center eastern disk there, eastern side of the sun. So uh, we're getting back into the active stage. These guys still only showing a 60% chance of a C flare. M flare around 10% and X at 1. I'm sure they will adjust this accordingly tomorrow. I think there's a little bit more potential for this than what they're showing. Uh, but uh, also we do have a coronal hole dead facing us right now. Uh, named 90. And that one uh, could potentially um, give us some enhanced solar wind stream here in the nights ahead looks like we're having a little bit of uptick there on the higher latitudes on the june 15 times uh, time frame so we'll see how that comes uh see how see how it develops uh these guys put out an article again uh, looks like earlier this afternoon hello again uh, below is an updated look at the sunspots currently visible around uh, across the earth facing solar disk a few new sun re new regions are turning into view and should be assigned numbers during the next 24 hours. We've already seen that. Uh, solar activity on Sunday was at low levels with only minor sea flares detected. There will remain a lower threat for an isolated moderate M flare. So, uh, yeah, it's coming up. I'm pretty excited. I love the solar weather activity, let me tell you. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Hope everyone has a good day. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe while you're here. There's the 2.3 earthquake that showed up. I, I did mention about it too, right? I was a little off. Uh, underestimated that a little bit. Uh, but that earthquake I showed you just a couple minutes ago on the live seismograph, a 2.3 there on the big island of Hawaii around Pahala. All right, guys, have a good night. We will chat at you uh, very soon. Stay safe out there.